Jeannie and Cuckoo. Hey everyone, welcome back to Jinuku TV, where we make learning animation simple, fun, and totally doable. That too, step by step. If you have been following our video series, welcome back, and we are excited to share with you the walk cycle video that we created using frame by frame technique. If you're new here, this series is all about helping you build a strong foundation in Adobe Animate. We recommend watching our previous videos in the series for the foundation lessons. In today's practice exercise, we will focus on one of the most important animation skills, which is creating a walk cycle. There are actually many ways to animate a walk, including tweens and symbols. But today, we will be focusing on a pure frame by frame technique because we haven't had a chance to explore frame by frame animation yet in our beginner series and it is such an essential skills for animator a walk cycle is basically a repeated pattern of how a character moves while walking to keep it simple we will break it down into multiple poses which means that there are multiple drawings that when played in sequence create a natural looking walk. Think of it like flipping through a flip book, one pose at a time and when you play it fast, you get a smooth walking motion. Setting up your file. Alright, let's set up our project. Open a new document in Adobe Animate. Choose the default size as HD or Full HD since it is perfect for our practice exercise. Set your frame rate to 24 or 30 frames per second. This gives us a natural smooth animation. We will set our frame to 24 frames for our project. Ensure that the platform type is selected as Action Script 3.0. Planning the 8 key poses. To make things easy, we will work with a basic character. Here's what the 8 key poses roughly look like. Now a standard walk cycle can be broken into 8 key poses. And here's a good news. It's really just 4 poses repeated for both legs. These 4 poses are Contact Pose, Down Pose, Passing Pose and Up Pose. First you animate them with the right foot leading and then you just reverse the leg position to create the remaining 4 poses for the left foot. Starting with the contact pose, where the right foot moves forward. The second pose is a down pose. Observe how the right foot is absorbing the weight. The next and our third pose is the passing pose, where the left foot passes the right. The fourth is the up pose and we are preparing for the next contact. Now for fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth pose, just reverse the pose for the other leg. Repeat and refine to loop back to your first frame smoothly. Each pose leads naturally into the next one. If you stay loose and focus on the flow, it all comes together nicely. But before we jump into animate, you have two options to create your poses. You can draw them in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop and import them into animate. Or if you're comfortable, you can draw directly inside Adobe Animate. If you choose to draw directly in Animate, you can turn on the Onion Skin feature. This lets you see a faint outline of the previous and the next frame as a guide. It's super helpful when you're adjusting small movements between poses. For this animation, we are designing our character in Adobe Illustrator. Here's how our character looks like. The first version you see here is just the standing pose. It is a simple clean design, perfect for beginners. To prepare this character for animation, especially if you're planning to rig and move different parts of the body, we need to make a few important adjustments. The key step is to separate each body part on its own layer. Take a look at how we have organized the file. The head is on its own layer. The shoulders, arms, fist, torso and even the thighs, calves and shoes all are separated. This makes it super easy to animate these parts independently once we are inside Adobe Animate. One thing to keep in mind, 
Even if you have named your layers in Illustrator, Adobe Animate may or may not keep these names while importing. So it's always good to double check after importing. Now let's bring our character into Animate. If you ever get stuck while importing, we have got a dedicated video on that topic. Feel free to check it out anytime. Go to the File menu, select Import and from here Import to Stage. This will open a browser window. Find your Illustrator file and click Open. Now you will see the Import to Stage window option. Here, you can also preview paths and layers of our Illustrator file. Don't change anything here. Just make sure that the drop-down says Convert Layers to Animate Layers. When everything looks good, click Import and your character is now inside Animate. Select the whole character on stage, right-click and choose Distribute to Layers. Now each body part is on its own timeline layer, just how we need it for animation. Now carefully observe how we animate by adjusting the body parts as per our animation poses discussed earlier. Animation step by step. Now let's work on animation. On frame 1, either paste your first pose or draw your contact position. Press F7 on your keyboard to create a blank keyframe for the next pose. Then get your next position on this frame. Repeat the process until the duration of the walk cycle, pressing F7 to add blank keyframe and then either draw or paste the new pose. Don't worry about perfect drawing right now. Focus on capturing the basic body movements. You can always polish it later. Testing the animation. Once you're done drawing all the poses, select all the frames and press enter to preview your animation. You should see your character taking smooth rhythmic steps now. And if something feels off, tweak timing or redraw a frame to make the movement feel smoother. Quick recap. A walk cycle is a repeat loop of poses. Today, we used eight key poses to build a smooth cycle. You can draw your poses in Illustrator Photoshop or directly in Animate. Onion Skin is your best friend for frame-by-frame -frame animation. And that's it for this video. Frame-by-frame -frame animation teaches you so much more about motion, timing and body mechanics. And this simple walk cycle is just the beginning. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell icon so you won't miss the next fun practice session. Until next time, Keep animating and keep having fun. See you soon in our next video.